This is a recap of the Monday, April 26, 2021 council meeting. Um, we did have some items on a work session tonight that uh, were worthy of note. First off, we heard uh, a presentation on our financial statements from uh, David Mohl, partner in Red Path and Company, who, who does the city audits. We received a draft of those and um, we're able to ask a number of questions. The reason it's a draft at this point is within a week or two, we will have uh, the one thing that we still need is the public utilities um, uh, audit. And that usually, will, that I believe it'll be done by May 7th. So at that point, we'll have the final, uh, final presentation or statements and approve them at that time. But a uh, lot of details, but in general, I think it was fair to say that, that uh, we received a fairly good report, um, discussion on, especially in, in this last year, this was the 20, 2020 um, audit uh, with, with COVID and you know, the things that, that, how that affected the city, we actually did, did pretty well by being proactive, uh, both by getting CARES funds, but also by being proactive in how we um, took care of some things internally within the city, moving some staff around, um, as best we could. And uh, so cash flow looks good. Um, a lot of items looked very good. So we, were, we, we, we believe and have known in the past that we have a, a great finance department and this, um, this is this more, more things that confirm that this evening. Uh, the second item at the work session was to uh, discuss proposed changes to city council bylaws. This was brought up at the last council meeting, uh, as it has to be. Uh, it has to be brought up the council meeting before the one where it's actually voted on. Uh, city administration took input over the last two weeks on what they would like, uh, council members would like to see. And then we had that discussion tonight. Um, a lot of it was formalizing things that already uh, are supposed to be happening, but ensuring that through uh, making it part of the bylaws, um, both, both on making sure that incumbents are notified of uh, an opportunity to see if they wish to continue or not, uh, and then to go through the process of interviewing. Um, and then also a slight change in the bylaws that, that tweaked things for um, specifically the EDA, but to allow an increase in non-residents and a prioritized system where residents would be considered first if all applicants are equal. Residents and city property owners, including business owners, um, would be prioritized first, uh, all things being equal, and then we would look at non-residents second. But, but oftentimes, we have trouble filling some of our boards and commissions, and there's good quality people who own property in the city, who run businesses that would be, uh, you know, good candidates for our EDA. So that that proposal did change. Uh, we discussed it at the work session, and then it passed at the regular session or regular meeting. Uh, the regular me meeting began with um, a presentation or a proclamation, I should say, proclaiming May twelfth, two thousand twenty-one, Arbor Day in the city of Grand Rapids. We had a number of items, uh, 12 items on our consent agenda. A lot of those were accepting grants or giving authorization to apply for grants. Uh, but one thing we did do is we approved a donation of $1,000 from the Blandon Foundation for the Independence Day fireworks this year and thank them for that. Uh, the regular session was fairly short. We had two items on it. One was, um, one was from our finance department. Uh, the Public Utilities Commission uh, worked in conjunction with the city to, um, to uh, go out for general obligation utility bonds in the amount of 873,000. Uh, the reason for doing so is we may, we may get a better interest rate as well and save some money that way, but, but uh, they're trying to get out of some restrictive covenants on the previous um, previous lease purchase agreement, uh, specifically insurance requirements with uh, the the company that now holds that, and uh, we could save save some money um, and have some flexibility 
The nice thing about this, you know, besides saving some money and increasing some flexibility is that this is a smaller amount um, of bond than we normally go out with, and it's a shorter term. It'll be done in four and a half years. And because of that, we may get some interest, and they're going to try to market this a little bit to local banks. Uh, they'll be notified to see if they have any interest. Um, and we'll see what happens, but, but it's... Uh, you know, we, we, if, when we can do these things locally, that would be great. We're always going to take a look at the taxpayer and make sure that we get the best rate. Uh, but, but this is an opportunity for local financial institutions to uh, maybe consider going after a, a general obligation bond. And finally, we approved uh, the rental. We've been discussing this for quite a while, but we've actually approved tonight the job description and the authorization to post for two... Uh, rental inspectors slash firefighters. Um, uh, if the assumption is that we could probably get this rolling and people hired by July 1st, that would be the attempted start date. And th there's two benefits for this and two reasons that we are moving this forward. One is the rental inspection, which has been in discussions for roughly four years, maybe five years even. Um, but combining it with the firefighting positions allows for daytime firefighters to be available. We're, we're really having a hard time uh, providing fire coverage during the day when many of our firefighters have their, you know, their, their day job, um, if, if they have one, uh, you know, one that works during the day. So we've been having, it's been tighter and tighter having enough people to, to go out. And so um, by having actually some people within the city uh, that can break free when needed uh, will we'll certainly increase our um, ability to cover the daytime fire calls and to in, in, you know, increase uh, or improve uh, response time as well. So uh, that you know, has been discussed at length and tonight we approved the job descriptions and, and posting of the position. So, um, our next regular meeting is scheduled for May 10th, 2021, 5 p.m., and hope you have, uh, hope we see some sunshine between now and then. Thank you.